Hello, today I'm here to make just a little announcement. I've been offered and I've accepted a new position at the, the Frost School of Music at the University of Miami to teach conducting and conduct the orchestra and be involved with this great music department, a great music program. It's led by a, a, a man who I have incredible respect for, uh, Shelley Berg. He's a great pianist, uh, improviser, arranger, composer, leader, and he's a great leader of this school and doing incredibly innovative things. And the great thing about a place like the University of Miami is that, yes, they're performance majors and some of them will become great performers and others will be great performers and educators and others will be administrators and some will be managers and some may work in the record business or in the television business, who knows? But the opportunities at the school are really quite extraordinary and so I'm happy to join the team of remarkable uh, faculty members. With that in mind, I thought I'd tell just a little story. There are two types of teachers. Uh, when I was younger, many, many years ago, I uh, taught trumpet, and that was uh, it's what I would call in the trenches. I would work on everything to do with trumpet playing. But then there were times when I would do a master class, and then I was the Pied Piper who came in and made everybody feel good, and everything went great, and, and uh, hopefully I inspired them. And that's not dissimilar from being a music director, or being a guest conductor. You come in as a guest conductor, you want to inspire, you want to make great music. You're not worried about the long-term uh, quality of sound of the third flute. I'm making that up, of course. Um, you're, you're just worried about making music that week. As a music director, you're thinking long-term. It's the same thing as an educator. Uh, if you're giving master classes, then you're just trying to be inspirational. But if you're the teacher in the trenches, you have to worry about everything. I'll tell one quick story about that that I think will be amusing. There are two violinists that I was very close to, both of them unfortunately not with us anymore, Alexander Schneider, who was the second violin of the Budapest Quartet, and Robert Mann, who was the first violin of the Juilliard Quartet. And I worked a lot with, uh, with uh, Sasha Schneider, and Bobby was one of my closest friends. So Schneider and I would play concerts together a lot, and he ran a thing called the Christmas String Seminar at Carnegie Hall every year where great string players, young string players, would come together and he would inspire them, and he really would. He was an incredible teacher, incredible uh, inspirational conductor. And <clears throat> kids would go home, or the students would go home after uh, the week working with Sasha, and oh, they were just flying in cloud nine. And then I saw Bobby uh, after one of those weeks, and he noticed I was playing the Haydn Concerto with Sasha, and he said, well, you know, that's just terrible. It's horrible. You hate. I said, what's wrong? It was, it was phenomenal, and Schneider is incredible. He said, yeah, he, he goes in for a week, he makes everyone feel good, he inspires them, and then everybody thinks he's a genius when I'm the one teaching them how to use the vibrato and, 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 uh, and how to play in tune and to deal with bow distribution. I'm in the trenches teaching those kids. And of course, my argument was that both are extremely valuable. So now, for the first time in many years, in a sense, I'm going back uh, into that wonderful world of education where I will uh, work with conducting students, of course, and I'll work with students on all the instruments. In fact, I'll do anything anybody asks. When I was there uh, for a short visit this past fall, you know, one of uh, a, a great uh, voice teacher, Robin Redman, a great mezzo who I've worked with many, many times, asked me if I'd come in and coach some of the singers not only her students, but lots of them, and I had a phenomenal time, a different perspective, maybe. So uh, I want to thank you all for watching this little video, and I'm very proud and very excited to be part of the Frost School of Music starting in the fall. Thanks.